everybody, welcome back to Pixie With. Today's makeup tutorial that I'm going to do for you is job interview makeup. Um, lots of people are applying for jobs and you want to feel your best, so I'm going to show you a cheap way of uh, creating a full makeover um, for about £50 or under. And that's everything included. So um, you probably have some bits, so you'd only have to get a few steps anyway. Start off with, I am going to use a um, new foundation that's come to me, which is Marks and Spencer's foundation, and I love it. I'm using loads of Marks and Spencer's products today because um, I've just tried them and I absolutely love them, and they're so cheap and affordable. This is six pounds. Right, let's get a foundation brush. You can use your hands to do this if you prefer. Um, it's really nice and creamy foundation, so maybe not the best for someone who um, has an oily skin. If so, you could swap this for um, one of the bourgeois foundations, which aren't too expensive as well. Like the Healthy Mixer in one is nice. Now, everyone's trying to get jobs at the moment, and you want to feel as good as you possibly can and this makeup is not going to be for every single job interview you know some people may wear more makeup for certain jobs but this is for a real generic job you know office job um, retail job most most things that you may go for so I'm keeping it not too expensive I know 50 pounds sounds a lot but that's for everything um, people spend 50 pounds on a foundation I've tied my hair up because it was driving me mad and I was getting too hot so it's out of the way and you can see the makeup more. I'm then going to take Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer, this one's 750. I'm going to pop it on the back of my hand. Again you can use your fingers if you prefer. I'm going to take a brush and just run that under the eye. People don't realise um, how much of a difference makeup can make to your confidence so it's really important that you do look your best and you look clean and polished when you go for a job interview because quite often people have already judged you when they first look at you which is a shame but uh, that's just the way it works so make the most effort you possibly can bring out a little bit of confidence in you as well now there's a statistic which I don't know what it is that women that wear makeup are much more successful. I don't know how true it is, but um, I know it gives me confidence. It doesn't say how much makeup, so it might just be the odd lip gloss or something. But I actually, I would say I'd believe that because it makes me way more confident. If I haven't got my face on, I don't even like to really look people in the eye. Well, Actually, that's changed since I've done videos because you will see me with no makeup on. I'm not so bothered anymore. Next step, I'm going to powder the skin, and I have got a um, Marks and Spencer's loose powder, um, and this one is five pounds. Tap it into the lid, get your brush, and then push it onto the skin, just lightly. Seal the makeup into place. I then want to add a little bit of colour, and I also got a Marks and Spencer's bronzer. I love it because it's matte. And I'm going to run that down the back of my cheeks. If you're fair, leave out the bronzer set step. You don't need to bronze up anymore, anything. You know, qu quite often people find that bronzers just don't suit them. So leave out this step if so. And if you get very oily skin, you probably will want to add a primer. I haven't added a primer because it's expensive and I wanted to keep it nice and cheap video. The bronzer is £5, then a blush. Now I didn't want to use all Marks and Spencer stuff because I was really con cautious, conscious that I was using lots of their products. Um, but I love their blush so I'm going to use it. I also have a Stargazer one to show you, which is 350 They do loads of colours. This is a little bit pink for me, 
Um, and I hunted high and low for one that was slightly more corally. And this one is um, Dusky Rose. And this one is Melba Blush. And I'm going for Melba Blush from Marks and Spencers. The Stargazer one is 350. Marks and Spencers one is four pounds. Bit too much on there, I think. Let's just calm it down a tiny bit. High pigment. Now on the eyes, I have chosen a Bourjois Smoky Eyes palette. This one is in um, 04 Nude. And it's got some great colours there. It's so hard to find um, slightly reasonable price brands that don't do shimmer. Sleek do a few, but you have to buy a full palette of loads of colours. Um, and sometimes they can fall down a little. Um, well worth the price though. Marks and Spencers do um, these, but they're slightly more expensive. I think they're about five, four or five pounds each and you have to buy a few to make a look so I haven't used those. So I've decided to go for this because it's got the whole lot in that you would need. Let me see how much this is, I've written it down. 7.99. I'm going to just try and use um, a couple of brushes to do it. I've got a MAC 217 and I'm going to run the base colour all the way over. I can't use these, throw it away. I can't use that, it's too difficult. Um, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to run it all over the base of the eye. All over the base, all over the eyelid. As a base. Losing my mind, the heat is getting to me. Such lovely weather here at the moment. Came back from honeymoon and I must have dragged the sun with me. So right the way over, let the brush do the work. I'm then going to take the next darker colour, which is this one here, and really softly, don't get too much on your brush because you can overdo it with this because they're quite pigmented. A little bit, tap it off, just run it along the lash line, up to the corner of the eye, and then back on itself in a V. And with this brush, which is a MAC 217, it kind of does the work for you. So just through there, and fill in the V once you've got the shape. Once you feel you can build it a bit more, add a little bit more of the colour. Exactly the same on the other side. If you don't have a very big socket, so this bit here I mean by socket, where the brush is going now, just keep the brush, the product, along the lash line. Don't go upwards. Just keep the, it along the lash line and you can blend upwards but don't go through the crease because you haven't got one so just slightly pull it upwards so it would be for someone with um, slightly heavier lids that may come down so slightly more mature ladies may use this it that way or people that have mono lids I don't really like that word much so that's as heavy as I will go. I'm then going to take the next, the darkest colour, which is this one here, and that will just run along the lash line with the same brush. Because you want to make it look like you've made an effort for your interview, but you don't want to make it look like you've put, you're going clubbing straight afterwards. Just along the lash line. I'm also keeping the underneath clean because it can turn too smoky and evening if I start dragging it underneath. Now you can add a little bit of eyeliner if you feel you need it and I would just go for something like a uh, dark brown or black pencil but I'm not going to, I'm going to see what the mascara looks like with it first I've chosen Avon um, Super Shock Max Mascara waterproof because I find that when I'm under pressure I 
I get a little bit sweaty here for some reason, I don't know why, and my mascara touches the top. I don't normally wear waterproof mascara, but I think for this, for a job interview, when you're feeling the pressure, I personally would. You want it to look immaculate. So mascara all over. That can go on the top and the bottom. This mascara is six pounds at the moment from Avon. So we're keeping in our budget. Bottom as well. And I don't feel like I need any eyeliner. I think it will make it a little bit too dark if I do. I'm gonna do my brows. I've got another Avon product. This is Avon uh, Perfect Brow Pencil in Blonde, which is the color I use. And this is £6.50. Possibly one of the cheaper brow pencils you can get and really good. Sometimes they can be too orangey or too waxy. So I'm just brushing my brows up and then I'm going to colour them in so I can see where it needs to be coloured. By brushing them up you can see the slight gaps. I'm going to get someone in to do my, my brows HD for you so you can all see them as well. Um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks um, where they dye your brows, they shape your brows and they even dye every single little individual hair. Right, let's... just going to run it along the bottom shape of the brow slightly brushing up to make the hairs look a little bit natural I'm quite sparse here so I just need to colour in the top here as well Not too much. This one's got a big gap here, so just colour in there where my scar is. Excuse, excuse the outside noise. So there you have the brows. Then, lastly, is the lip. I have got, now, lips are difficult for interviews because you want something that will last and I find if you've got to talk a lot, you can get a little bit of a kind of, this is a horrible word, but a scummy kind of whiteness here if you're talking loads and you're dehydrated and you're nervous. Um, so I'd go for a lipstick or a stain um, or even a lip conditioner, probably not a lip gloss, purely because they do cause that a lot. Okay, I've been on the hunt for a lipstick that's £5 or under, um, and I found an Avon one, but it's £8, so it's no good to me. The only one I have is this, uh, Marks & Spencer, so I'm going to use it. See if it's nice anyway. Mmm, it's maybe a bit light. That's too light. Take it off, take it off. Sorry. I'm under budget with the other stuff, so I will go for the... Um, the Avon one, this one is Rose Ribbons. And that's quite strong. Yeah, I think that's nice. Um, so there you have my finished uh, job interview makeup. Really simple, really nice and cheap and effective and um, doesn't look too much but you look nice and clean and polished and that's the main thing that people look for they want you to look like you can present yourself so let's take the hair out I hope you found that useful and you guys have a lovely day I'll see you soon bye bye